French kiss. How many of us can remember trying to teach ourselves to kiss? We would use a mirror, a basketball, even our forearms as we attempted to master the art of bestowing the perfect kiss. Of course, none of us would ever admit to all these secret attempts, and if anyone ever spied us involved in such behavior, we very quickly came up with some excuse. For those who find themselves in this same boat today, you can put step away from the mirror and put away the basketball. Help has arrived. Now, when it comes to learning how to French kiss, there are a few basics to keep in mind. Here are some tips that will help you get into the swing of puckering up and participating in an enjoyable French kiss. One of your chief concerns when it comes to French kissing is going to be your breath. We seem to be afraid that at the magic moment, our breath will cause a fit of hacking and coughing. To take proper precautions before engaging in a French kiss, make sure you practice good oral hygiene. Brush your teeth after each meal and also use a mouthwash before you head out on your date. Unless you and your date both are crazy about onions and garlic, refrain from having either during the course of the evening. You may want to have a breath mint to pop after dinner, in any case. Don't try to hide it from your date. In fact, offer your date a breath mint as well. You can be sure of having acceptable breath for the big moment. Next, realize it is okay to be a little nervous when you are about to share a first deep intimate kiss. Most of us have some anxiety that very first time. Consider your case of butterflies in the stomach to be a good sign, just like they are for an actor about to walk onto a stage. You would need to be more worried if the whole thing was causing you no anxiety whatsoever. When it gets down to the big moment, here is the main thing you should remember. A French kiss is a kiss, not an attempt to wrestle the tongue of your date into submission. Begin by joining lips tenderly and allow your tongues to gently explore each other's teeth line and finally encounter one another. Run your tongue along the lines of your partner's tongue, taking your time and allowing your partner to do the same. If you both want to become a little more aggressive, that is fine. Just remember you are doing a dance, not a competition. Relax and enjoy the sensation. Above and beyond these basic instructions, you will slowly begin to hone some other things you will like to include in your French kiss. Just like any act of intimacy, exactly how it is done will depend a lot on the preferences of the two people who are engaged in the act of enjoying the French kiss. In no time, 
you will come to understand what your partner can do that makes the kiss more pleasurable for you and vice versa. Don't be shy about letting your partner know when he or she does something that really excites you. French kissing with someone that you find attractive is meant to be pleasurable. If you take a moment to rid yourself of worries about your breath, make it a point to start slow, remember that a kiss is not a contest, and let each other know what feels good, you will very quickly come to look forward to each and every chance to engage in French kissing. Caution don't ram your tongue down your partner's throat. Worry less about technique and focus more on both of you having a good time. Quick tips, take it slow, you are not running a race. Be tender at first, you can pick up the pace later if both of you choose.